there, everybody. Um, take a look at the state of Tribes of Midgard. Um, so they recently... I think I'm getting the bond sometime. They released Season 3, which... Uh, not so many changes to the regular Saga mode. Um, those are still, like... I feel like it slowed it down a little bit. There's more bosses, or maybe just everybody kind of knows how to beat it, so it goes quick. Um, but they did make a lot of changes to the survival mode, uh, which kind of what I'm going to go over today. Um, so it's pretty cool. I think they did a good job with it. Um, instead of having waves and waves come after you, just like Saga mode, um, you have now just basically like free building as you can see here's the main tree but i can't put any souls into it like things don't come after it um the healings and stuff like they're not they're not out to get me uh, but there's also no shops there's nothing like that you don't start with anything um even your starter kits and things like that uh, you you don't get them when you pop into the world on day one you're naked um and so you do i'm sorry this is the only thing you start with the shrine and uh, this homie over here who will as you defeat the you know the bosses you can turn in for rewards and then like the legendaries so there's more like um more stuff to unlock the nice part about this is there are a lot of achievements for survival mode um and those are a lot easier to accomplish now um and again it's it's just more fun because now it's more sandboxy you can build however you want now i just kind of group my stuff together because i'm not really a uh, uh really good at building uh, you know if somebody told me to build a house i'd build like a, a, a two by two box you know what i'm saying I'd be like haha here's my house um so you have like this over here and then the, you know your construction bins as you can see you can build them and as you level up you get better and better ones um, so you can build whole houses, things like that, and you want to level them up. Um, so you're out there, and you're just kind of just start on an island. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter how you generate it. You start on an island. Um, your first boss is the lightning boss. So you go through, get up to speed. You can beat her. Next one was lava for me, so I had to sail around, um, and now I'm down here to this guy. Um, and as you can see, it's nighttime. Nobody's coming for me. Now the healings will appear on the map, um, so you want to go kill them. Obviously, like you know, they, they have the you know stuff you need for the the rings and dark healing rings and stuff for the dark weapons and things like that. So sometimes you got to hunt them out. Um, very sometimes, like if you're out in the world, there will spawn like a, a handful of them on you, but it's nothing crazy, nothing you can't handle. So right here of course like usually they spawn in decent sized groups right now they're pretty like ones or twos here's a group of like three down here or something i'll just go down here to show you and there's more okay yeah there we go um but what's kind of fun about survival mode 2 is that there isn't a class that you have to pick so it's not like well i really like playing the archer but um it's going to be really hard to be an archer by yourself without melee or anybody there to tank that damage or or something like that um here here and i'll show you um yeah so if we go into our blessings uh you get a lot of them and as you can see you can just freely build however you want like i have a lot of the seer things because i love the seer um so getting all the fun stuff from the seer and then i'm getting the fun stuff from the berserker i got my shield throw and things like that um so you get to build them any way you want uh, and you get a lot of points like i'm 18 you get a point per level so um yeah i'm gonna i don't know where it tops out at i wish i did um could tell you but can't um now the only thing is really like what do you spend souls on because you don't have anything it doesn't cost souls to level up and that i'm not really sure about i'm waiting um i got my portal down here to the lava guy so as soon as i beat him maybe i need souls to open that up like in the regular saga mode um or maybe it's fragments not sure we do have uh events that you you know they're not announced in the new survival mode um you'll just find them you'll see them they're still the rooster they're still the stag uh personal quests i haven't found those yet i know it's on the legend here but of all the places i've been there hasn't been anybody that's um uh, giving me a thing and i think it's Aster or something like that in the saga mode so i haven't haven't found them yet um that's usually who you turn your quests in 
Um, haven't found any beacons yet. I'm not sure. I'm sure they're out there because you got to get to uh, all three bosses are here. So I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Um, haven't found the bridge yet. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure if I got to build a bridge again to get to Fenrir or, or what's going on there. But um, everything else, hideouts are still there. Um, underpasses are still there. Everything, ruins are still there. So you, you want to carry stuff around. Um, What's cool is over here is you are going to craft your own waypoints. So you might have been like, well, where do I get waypoints? You're actually going to craft them and place them yourself. So a little bit smaller, um, but they're pretty cool. Uh, over here, I got to upgrade this. Uh, oh, no, I did. Up oh, yep. Here we go. Now I can upgrade. Yay. Ocean Brewer. I'm not sure here. Oh, there we go. Get a potion brewer. All right. Oh man, what do I need here? See, we I think I got like, all that stuff. I'm, I think um, you do. You can carry everything with you. I think it's just habit from other survival games and things like that. Like I don't want to lose it all, so I put it in here. The one bummer is is that it's not pulling from the chest like in the regular mode. Um, I don't know why they uh, would take that out of the survival mode it's so convenient and it's like your stuff anyways so who the fuck cares um makes no sense but it is what it is so um oh did i forget seaweed let's see here boop, boop. oh mushroom oil that's what i forgot get my mushroom oil um so i'm just now unlocking potions so it can be a it's a long process like i said it's a lot slower um Right now, like, my armor's garbage because I gotta go find these, like, mermaid bitches, and I just haven't been able to find them yet. Um, now the seals are turning into them for me, so that's a bummer. But now I've got... Oh, I can make some of these. Oh, my inventory's full. Son of a bitch. Um, you really don't need that guy anymore now. Um, There are no more, like, lumber mills, mine, like, quarries... Uh, any of those huts anymore so you can't build those so no no passive income um up ingredients red meat okay there you go i guess i could read but overall it's pretty good i'll show you guys you can kind of see if i go mm -hmm. pop down here i don't need my heat up anymore so i'll just run in here real quick um i think i like this one. Oh, i need this for an upgrade sweet i get my tools upgraded now oh and as you can see there's a world event over there all right we're taking damage from the frost that's a bummer i didn't build my guy like i always play the seer so um, right now, I'm, I'm having to deal with the elements, and I never have to deal with that in my uh, normal saga mode, because the class that I always play is Seer. Um, I think they're really just OP. Um, and you can see he's got 160 health, so they don't walk towards your base. I think they're really easy now, um, because they still have the same moves. They're not doing anything crazy, and they're kind of locked into one place. So if you got your rolls down, you can just roll away. Um, I'm still excited to see how the Ancients are. Um, We'll see if they're maybe tougher. Um, but as of right now, like they're pretty. Let's get over here to this portal. I can show you guys. We can take a look at it together and see what it see what it takes now. Uh, so event frags. So okay, all the normal stuff that it takes in the regular, exactly what it takes, with no change. Werewolves right there. Some the bitches. These guys over here. So, oh. Uh, elemental, like, if I'm fighting the frost guy, the fire damage isn't going to do more to, like, the fire boss there. I keep saying boss, but I do not know how to say the words, like, John 2, um, whatever. Um, you get a lot of these season XP's, by the way, out here. It's great. I've gone up, like, in my seasonal rewards by a lot, just, like, running around. And I'm, like, 20, uh, I gained, like, three levels. So, it's a good mode right now, and it does, you know, save when you log out, um, you do not get to pick the difficulty like in the last ones so you just get to make it public or private and then from there um 
like before you could change difficulty and map sizes and all that yada yada um you don't get to do that do that anymore so chef's kiss i don't think go get in here before i lose my frost if it hurts me to be in here fight him because i did not bring another potion Oh, sure shit does. Well, that sucks. Woo, we gotta get out of here. I'm gonna freeze to death, man. Okay, but as you can see, they're stuck in there. Um, oh, there's my damage increase. Going crazy. And just like that. Just cross that line. Um, awesome. You still have your traders. Uh, we got to get some of these. I got to get some outposts down. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's more it's it's more slow paced because you're just kind of bottleneck. I would bottleneck right now seems to be like just silver is like a hard one because it's either okay I use it on armor or do I use it on waypoints? Waypoints use a lot of silver, so kind of just been dumping that. So I'm just running around in the basic armor. Um, you build your own bed. If you die, that's where you respawn. So you could actually like build your base anywhere you want. If you wanted to build your house out here or a big area, you can build it anywhere. And when you die, you respawn there and you can set a waypoint there. You see, that's just the bed. So again, like if you had a bunch of buddies, you guys could all build your own bases. Nobody's coming after them or anything to destroy it. I don't know if you can really lose uh, survival mode anymore which is interesting before it was like all right you could still lose it um so let's save and quit i will say this if you are out there and you're have a boat and you log out the boat will disappear and, and pop you back at the world tree um you won't die or lose anything but just to let you know and also that when i log back into that game my boat will be gone um but you can see in here the challenges there's a lot. I don't think I had any of these. Well, I think these a lot of these are new because it's all crafting stuff. So these are all really easy. Um, add 500 branches to the bonfire. So I definitely could do that. Uh, there's 100, you know, so. All right. So there's a and there's all translate like, you know, most of it's cosmetic. You get the, the you know, gold spear, which is cool. You all unlock runes. Um, but yeah, most of it's all cosmetic. I want to say there's still, if I go back to achievement challenges. So what makes it good is the reason I'm doing this is I never did it back in the day was to unlock the axe. Um, will I use this axe? Probably not. Uh, but I'd still want to have achievements because everybody likes unlocking achievements. Um, plus, I got to get my pig. I want to get the pig. So I got I to gotta unlock all these. I got to reach max level this season. And... Get, getting close to my hammer unlock, you know, I'm over halfway now finally, but I'd really like that tier tier three hammer. Um, but overall, the state of the game is pretty good. Uh, saga mode is still saga mode. Um, you know, it just depends on the people you're with and if you can get everybody to stay. Uh, it's still good. I think uh, the I didn't play when uh, the Sea Serpent boss or uh, was introduced to the game. I think that was the second boss, and now the third one is the oh lava guy and so those are good additions i still think Ren Fenrir is the hardest um out of all of them but there's uh more challenges in here let's see so getting close on those gotta unlock those for the schemat schematics for uh gotta unlock those for the you know recipes i think this is a pet that follows you around this little pet that follows you around they've done a good job um, the shop is cool. You can uh, you cap out at like uh, 99 horns now. I don't remember if it was always like that. But you want to go back in there and you can shop around. And there's a lot of stuff to unlock, not just weapon wise, but um, you know, protection wise. You're unlocking all the armors and stuff and um, accessories. There's a lot of accessories. So all your runes and stuff like these are. Well, there's a lot of good runes in here that you want to unlock and new starter kits, things like that, um, which is nice that they. It's gold horns, so really you just got to, you know, a regular saga mode. Usually, uh, if I finish all of them with all the bosses and stuff, usually leave there with like twenty or so. Um, so then you can go around and unlock these, and now these are things that are going to drop in the world. So you might get, um, you're not going to get these runes 
otherwise uh you know and there's some really cool ones out here i'm really loving the chain lightning one uh, i still haven't got winter's wake but i've seen it and it looks badass um i haven't gotten this one you know the ragnar range uh yet to drop yet but it sounds awesome great group one but um i don't know i don't know what this guy is they took out like the golden egg one when you used to leave you got like i remember you got something that was like a thousand more uh xp or something like that you got when you left with like the golden egg one but it seems that they've taken that one out of the game um but yeah so overall i'd say the state of the game is really fun it's really like casual so if you are like me um and you work a lot and you're on the road a lot you can like play this from my hotel room i can hop on for like an hour or two and just like relax or long day get home um late at night you know i might not get on my computer till nine o'clock ten o'clock at night i can play like an hour long an hour and a half long match and still have a lot of fun still get some um accomplishments done um, and i think that's you know Saga mode is still really fast paced where you really feel like you can't stop moving. Uh, survival mode is, you know, it's slowed down so you can casually play. If you only got a half hour or so, you know, so you can play it. You can literally probably just, I could leave this logged in here and I won't die for the most part. Like, I mean, nighttime they might spawn guys on me, but it's still hit or miss. Like, I could just casually walk by and get to that 100 days really quick. Um, but I don't want to do that because I don't I don't want to choose it. Um, I'll play it for the 100 days. Yeah, uh, if you guys got questions, drop it down below. Um, you know, check out the game if you haven't checked it out in a while. If you're like me and you're... Um, if you've just been kind of waiting for other things, there's so many other um, survival games and MMOs out there that I'm waiting for that I'm just kind of filling the void. There's all the games I want to play are either, you know, the betas are coming out, the alphas are coming out soon. Um their release dates are like you know six months away or there's like big patches coming for ones that i am playing and i'm like man i'm kind of burnt in on them until the big patches come so you know let me know what you guys think of it uh if you're having fun with it uh you know hit me up if you want to do some saga mode or something be more than happy to jump in here with some people all right guys um have a good day